What's poppin' people? It's Dante. I'm just walking around Doberth Plaza here outside of City Hall. The country's largest municipal building and, you know, I can't help but admire the beautiful architecture, the attention to detail. And this has me thinking today about aesthetics and beauty and why I believe this to be such a critical part of human thriving, right? To thrive, you know, the world needs good art. Let's just say it how it is, right? Good architecture, beautiful architecture inspires greatness, right? Beautiful spaces to inhabit inspire me personally. That's why I felt like I thrived in Rome, right? The, um, the sort of juxtaposition of the old and the new, I find to be one of Philadelphia's most beautiful aspects in terms of our architecture, where, you know, there's a bit of everything here, really. And, you know, while I have my critiques about these big glass towers like City Hall, or not City Hall, the Comcast Tower that looks like a giant vaporizer, or one of those vape smoking things, <laughs> you know, while I have my critique of that and find it to be aesthetically ugly, you know, there's something to be said about the diversity of these of these spaces that people can sort of just inhabit. And you know, I think that the the places that we pass through, whether it's like the tunnels of City Hall or the alleyways in Rittenhouse Square, the side streets in Old City, you know, they promote greatness generally right beautiful spaces promote beautiful faces perhaps the more beautiful the space the more beautiful the people so when i consider the offices that people report into even inside of city hall right inside these offices are dark decrepit caves right they're very uninspiring the lighting is not bright enough they don't have enough natural light these windows are very small most of them and it's like a dungeon and a lot of the offices in there and it's dusty it's moldy and you know the interior of this building really does need to be renovated and promote better hygiene um, I think what happens is when you inhabit these spaces and you work indoors all day and you sort of sacrifice your physiology, I believe then you become ugly, right? That's my thought. I don't think it's healthy. I find it unnatural. But there's beauty in the detail you know i think that beautiful spaces are important for human thriving and to create beautiful art right imagine a world without beautiful art that would be an ugly world and this is why i love philadelphia because we have such beautiful art we have these beautiful spaces to inhabit So, you know, I think that beauty and aesthetics are hard for me to ignore. A lot of the times you can go through the city and see the ugly and have that be your perception of life in a city. Because let's be honest with you, I mean, the world is, is, is filled with tragedy. 
and you, you can't unsee it, right? You can't unsee the ugliness of people, of the world, of society, the culture, etc. But to return to the naive, childlike mindset, you know, I believe this is critical for human thriving, for creative thriving, for being optimistic. It's naive. But I actually think that it's better to be naive, right? To forget about knowledge, right? Knowledge is boring anyway. You know, we need to go beyond knowledge and return to beauty.